Unfortunately, referees are sometimes called out by players in a game to watch croquet shots of every player. This usually occurs when players are not hitting into the croquet ball on a thin takeoff or they're following through on their roll shots, causing double taps and or pushes. By no means am I inferring that all roll shots done with follow-through are faults. There are many players who follow through on their roll shots who do so cleanly every time, but lesser experienced players are more vulnerable to faulting on shots like these. A number of players choose to use a stabbing non-follow-through technique, which cuts down on the chances of faulting. Drive shots are also common shots to find faults. We're going to look at two drive shots, a drive shot being a croquet shot where the striker follows through like they do on a normal single ball shot. I'll come back to you after the second shot. While you probably couldn't detect a fault in either of these shots, the first one was clean while the second one was a double tap. Here are three rapid succession close-up shots of a drive shot where a double tap occurred. The sound on these isn't crisp, which could help you make a judgment. The striker would be the one who could best detect a fault like this, and our game expects a striker to call a fault on him or herself, even if the referee couldn't detect a fault. Now let's look at the slow motion of this shot. Here you can see the double tap quite easily followed by a push. They normally occur in shorter distance drive shots and are usually clean when a drive shot is hit aggressively. I'd suggest you go to the croquet court and try to do drive shots and determine the point where you're committing double tap or pushing faults. We're now going to see two takeoff shots. The first one is legal and the second one is a fault. In the first shot, the striker did aim into the croquet ball, and the croquet ball did move. Another thing to watch for here is the mallet head hitting the croquet ball, and this occurs especially on thin takeoffs. The second shot was a fault because the striker didn't aim into the croquet ball. Even though the croquet ball moved, this is still a fault. The movement of the croquet ball has to be caused by aiming into it, not movement created by gravity. That is, the croquet ball rolling back after the striker ball has departed.